Hey friend, welcome to the Badass is the New Black podcast, where our motto is done is better than perfect. I'm Chrissy Chin, here on a mission to help you grow your business online, turn your leads into lifelong customers, and scale to six figures and beyond so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more. Most importantly, I'm a laid back wife, a mom, a friend who started as a peds nurse, turned network marketer, and now a serial entrepreneur. This podcast is for ambitious people with an idea, a vision, but no idea how to get there. On this podcast, I'll give actionable steps to keep you moving forward while you learn new business strategies, better systems and processes, marketing, sales, all the things you need to build and scale a blissful business that keeps your pocketbooks growing. Grab a beverage, open up your notes app, and let's get to it. Do you feel like you don't have enough time in your business? The phrases come out of your lips so often, oh, I don't have time for that, or oh, I wish I had more time, or I'm so busy. Well, it's not your fault because society has us feeling rushed, overwhelmed, and like we don't have time for anything fun. But I know there is a better way, and I am here to share six ways that you can be more productive in your business so you can feel less stressed about all the things that you have to do. Welcome to season number five, episode number eight. Now, I'm gonna go through these quickly. You're gonna see some that you really love, maybe more than others, but just take one of them and try and implement one of them into your business and see if you become more productive. So number one, let go of perfection. Ah, perfection. Are you a recovering perfectionist? Do you hate putting things out in the world unless they are perfect? I am not someone who identifies as a perfectionist personally. I mean, my motto is done is better than perfect. Yet even I find myself wasting time and slowing progress because I want what I do to be better. I wanted to craft a new intro for this podcast for season number five, and I didn't know what to say, I didn't know how to change it, I didn't know what music I wanted, but I kept thinking I couldn't launch season five on the podcast until I had this new intro, and so I kept dragging my feet, and January one came and went, and I was supposed to start the new season, and I just kept you know, making excuses and saying, oh, it's it's the intro, I need the intro to be perfect. And I just said at some point, I said, screw it. I'm not gonna let that stop me. I need to keep getting my message out there and serving my people out there. And so I was like, screw it, I'm not gonna create a new intro. And if I decide to create one four episodes in, then I'm just gonna do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so far we're eight episodes in and I have not changed the intro. So I was like, I wanna shorten it, I wanna do all these things, right? I haven't changed it. It's totally fine. I might change it this season, I might not. It doesn't matter, really right? But the perfectionist in me was letting me slow down and not do what I really needed to do. And so when I finally made that decision, I sat down on my computer and I recorded two podcast episodes back to back, and then the season started. Sometimes you just have to embrace that done is better than perfect motto to get it done. All right, number two, don't let lack of clarity stop you. This one gets me a lot because if I don't have clarity on something, then I really drag my feet. And so I can often be stopped dead in my tracks and not make any forward movement because I don't have the exact clarity on what I'm doing. Maybe you don't have clarity on who your ideal customer is. And so you kind of stop moving forward thinking, I don't know what to post on social because I don't really know who I'm talking to, right? And you feel like you can't move forward until you figure it out. Or maybe you don't have complete clarity on your first offer that you're gonna do, um, that you're gonna launch. And so you kind of get stuck on moving forward and building building that out or building your email list because you're like, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna be offering, right? So you just kind of stop all progress moving forward because you're not clear on it. Or maybe you wanna build that website, but you have no idea what colors and fonts and the business name and the logo and like that all seems overwhelming to you. So you just don't do anything. We've all been there, we've all done that, and I still get stuck up on things when I don't have clarity. But here's the deal, the worst thing that you can do when you don't have clarity is stop. Let me repeat it for the people in the back. The worst thing you can do when you don't have clarity is stop. Because with action comes clarity. So actually, if you wanna get more clear about something, it's better to take action, not just sit and say, well, I'm just gonna wait until the message comes to me. Like, don't wait a week for that. 
maybe sleep on it, but then take action. Sometimes in order for us to get clear on anything, we have to take that action right away. And if, and if it falls in line with you and it feels good, then you're on the right track. But if it feels forced and it feels yucky, then you're able to make that shift if you need, right? But that couldn't come to you unless you actually took action. When it comes to your brand, the website that you start today is not gonna be the same website that you have in a year's time. In fact, Many of our students for Build a Blissful Business have started some kind of website, but then they use the program to refine it and make it 100 times better. Claire and I have updated our Grow Workspace brand and website three times since we started it, gosh, five years ago. I think we're going on year six. And for the KC brand, for this brand, I've updated the brand twice and I've adjusted copy on my website probably three or four times because every time I take more action, I get more clarity. So if you are just start taking more action, then you're going to get more things done. Okay. Number three, don't try and tackle new tools without help from others. Lack of understanding can really hold us up and get us stuck and decrease our productivity. When we don't understand how to do something, we might spend a lot of extra time trying to figure it out. We might spend a lot of extra time trying to soak in the fact that we don't understand and feeling less than or not enough because we just don't get it. When there's something that I don't understand, instead of trying to slowly figure it out on my own or kind of sit and woe is me, I don't really get it, I don't know, I'm never gonna get this, I definitely connect with my network. I tap into my coaches or I find a program that's gonna walk me through. Because if I can spend speed up the process to understand that, that's gonna allow me to get more done in less time. I'm gonna be so much more productive. Now, I know nothing about media. Getting in the media, how to pitch to journalists, and that's something that I wanna focus on here in the future. And so I said, look, I don't wanna use all of my time to figure all of this out on my own. And so what did I do? I joined a program where this expert is going to teach me exactly what to know and, and put me in front of journalists and what to do so I can speed up that process so that I can be more productive in the areas that, that I really need to be productive in and then use this expert to get me further along in that aspect. These investments in our business matter. When you can invest and help decrease the time to get from A to B so that, that you can move forward quicker, you're gonna be so much more happier. You're gonna have more time back with your family. You're gonna speed up your, your revenue growth even. And so that's just kind of the message here is one of the biggest time sucks is trying to tackle something that's new all on your own with no guidance. So to increase your productivity, look for people who can guide you through and teach you um, so you can get from A to B faster. Number four, lean into Mercury retrograde. Now, I bet you did not think this was gonna be a topic on this podcast, but Mercury retrograde happens three times a year, and it's when Mercury appears as if it's going backwards in the orbit. Yes, I've gotten a little bit more into this whole thing. I'm not an expert by any means, um, but I'm fascinated by it. And it's said that in these times in particular, we're traditionally associated with confusion, delay, and frustration. And the planet Mercury rules communication um, in you know in history talking about it in all forms so during this time it can feel like things are moving slower or getting stuck even it's important to be extra flexible during this time and give yourself some extra time to maybe double check things things that pertain to communication and to technology earlier this year we were promoting our done for you services and we had a flood of people inquire about our services when I sent out the initial email and then it seemed like an absurd amount of them were having trouble communicating with us. Either they didn't get an email from us or they no-showed because they thought they communed, communicated to us that they needed to reschedule. And it just felt like the process was having some hiccups. And so during this time, which by the way was during Mercury retrograde, the first one of the year, during this time we were able to fine tune the process in the system around our done for you clients and services, which was really beneficial in the grand scheme of things and has helped us a ton saving time now 
moving forward because we re-looked at that process. And our system now for that is on point. So instead of letting um, it create chaos in your life, take a moment to reflect. Review what you are putting your energy towards to see if you need to make a shift there. So for example, if uh, family and friends are important to you, but you're feeling like nothing is working out in that area, reflect on if you have taken on too much work to be able to focus your energy where it needs to be in that moment. Or, you know, this is what can cause things into feeling more out of alignment, right? If you feel like your energy isn't shifted in the right area, like you're working really hard with little rewards. So just kind of take note of that, assess it, and see how you need to shift moving forward. So just a heads up, in 2023, Mercury, Mercury, I try and say that 10 times, will be in apparent retrograde, meaning it appears as if it's moving backwards, during the following dates. Okay, April 21st, so that's coming up to May 14th, August 23rd to September 14th, December 13th to January 1st. So three other times where this is happening. So maybe pay pay extra close attention to your communication during this time. Give yourself some more space to double check things um, to make sure that they're all flowing and functioning well. Please note that those were Eastern Standard Times for the US, not Universal Times. All right, number five, don't worry about checking everything off your to-do list. Oftentimes we make to-do lists and we put a ton of things on that list, right? Then when it comes time to sit down and start working in your business, you start going through that list and you start doing all of the things that might that are little, that might be easier to do, the smaller projects. Because if you get a lot done, if you check off 15 things on your to-do list, you're gonna feel really productive, right? As opposed to one. And if you're feeling productive, then you feel like you're an inch closer to your goals right? But I want you to think beyond terms, beyond the term productive and beyond the to-do list and think about what is aligned and what will make the most impact on your business. Recently, I had a million things to do. So it seemed, not literally, right? On my to-do list. And I could have probably spent the day knocking off 10 things on my to-do list. But instead, I decided, I looked at that list and I said, what's going to make the most impact today? Because it's not, I'm, I've shifted this mindset to be, it's not the quantity, the quantity, the quantity of things I check off. It's the quality, if you will. So the thing that's gonna make the most impact in the business, that's gonna help me feel most productive. And so I decided to focus on one of those things, which was emailing out our past Build a Blissful blissful Business students. I am all tongue-tied today. Um, About our affiliate program that we're launching, we're launching our signature program in April. Stay tuned. But I wanted to give our past students the opportunity to become affiliates for this program. And the task ended up taking me literally the entire working day, which I don't work eight hours, I work like two to three hours, but it took up my whole day, right? And I could have felt incredibly unproductive because literally I got one thing done. But instead, it was that one thing that's gonna make a huge impact on the business. I emailed almost 200, just over 200 past students with this opportunity for them. And if we even have 10% of those people sharing about this program in April, that's gonna make a huge impact on the business and it's also gonna make a huge impact on lives that are gonna be changed for the better. And so this was something that while I only got one thing done, I just, I felt so good about it. I felt so productive because it was what the business really needed. So this need and desire to compare the amount of tasks completed with productivity has got to go out the window, okay? It can actually sabotage your time and prevent you from using it incredibly effectively. So when you're feeling the need to be productive, take a look at your list and circle the thing that's going to have the most impact on your business or the greatest impact on your business and tackle that one thing first. And that way, if you only get through one thing, it's gonna make, you might, until you really shift your mindset and don't associate like number of tasks with productivity, you are going to actually do your business such a better service by just doing that one thing because it's gonna make the most impact. I hope that makes sense. And last but not least, number six, leverage your cycle to increase productivity. Yes, we're talking about cycles. And I'm not an expert in this topic, but I have, you know, learned a little bit along the way and kind of paid attention to what's going on. So recently I started you know, diving into this and and realizing and noticing in my cycle when I'm most productive and when I seem to be the most creative is when I'm ovulating. 
And when I'm least energized is when I'm on my period. One trick to get more time back in your day is to schedule your more relaxed self-care resting days or tasks that take less creativity during the time that your period is gonna be. And scheduling the things that are gonna take a lot more creativity like developing your program or batching blogs or podcasts or social posts, the things where you have to be creative, save that for when you're ovulating. And so if you don't know when you're ovulating, then I highly recommend that you start tracking your cycle um, and get an understanding of how long your cycle is so that you can figure out and you can plan ahead those times when that will be in the month. Of course, if there's a shift in your cycle, which that happens, find grace and adjust your calendar so that you can take a rest day or do something creative, you know, when needed. For the guys out there that are listening, I know I know nothing about your cycles. If guys have cycles, I, I'm not even going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. But for the women, here is a great tip that's helped me a ton. So these are just a few of ideas to help you be more productive. And if you find yourself often saying, oh, I just don't have time for that, or oh, I wish I had more time, or just feeling like you're stuck in your business. You want a better way to do things. You want to get more clarity on the things that you feel stuck in. Then I want to invite you to a brand new masterclass that I'm teaching next month, April 25th, in this masterclass, I'm going to tell you the six figure, six figure CEO secrets to doubling your leads and sales while spending most of your time with your family. So I'm going to cover a couple things in this masterclass. One is the sneaky hidden obstacle that prevents struggling business owners, maybe like yourself, from turning their prospects into paying customers. And I'm going to tell you exactly what to do about it. Number two, I'm going to share the single greatest key to getting four more hours each day while scaling your business to six figures beyond. Yes, that is actually possible for you. I'm going to tell you how in the masterclass, if you're listening to this episode and it resonated, you're going to want to at least come for that. And then how to confidently automate, streamline, and systemize your business without knowing a thing about tech. All of the details to register for that are at thechrissychin.com forward slash masterclass. Please invite your entrepreneurial friends to this masterclass. It's going to be a game changer for you and your business and for them as well. As always, it's been a pleasure. Remember, take imperfect action today. Take one of the things that we talked about and see how you can use that to just feel a little bit more productive or be a little bit more productive in your business. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got some value out of this episode, I would love some support. And the best way to do that so I can keep showering you with loads of actionable tips is to hit that subscribe button, leave a review or a comment if you're on YouTube and share this podcast with a friend. And when you share it with a friend on social, please tag me so I can reshare your share in my stories. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out. I appreciate the heck out of you for showing up. And now it's time for you to take imperfect action so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more.